Oh my goodness, I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's it has a golden hue to it. That's quite hey. Let's go. Freedom. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys! Oh my goodness, I missed you guys so much. Ah! Ah! How are you guys? Hi, how are you? I realized how much I missed you guys until I finally decided to bring up a camera and start filming again. And oh my goodness, how are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're chasing your dreams ferociously. I hope and graciously i hope you are slaying those dragons with everything you have and i just hope that this video meets you so well Mwah! sending love sending hugs my name is the mommy mommy nelly i am a lifestyle beauty business content creator so thank you so much for clicking on this video today thank you in advance for subscribing down below don't forget to subscribe let me give you a moment to do that right now so go do that freedom have you done it have you done it ah! Most importantly, don't forget to punch the notification bell button and also like the video and also share with your friends and family, your enemies, share with all of them. I need all their views. Um, <laughs> can you guys tell that I missed the camera? <laughs> okay, so um, you can find me on instagram at mommy nelly follow me there and um feel free if you have any questions if you if you want to do a collab i am open to collabs i'm open to growing my channel um most importantly i am the owner of db Lux collection i sell beautiful units and hair bundles supplying to you so go ahead and also follow my business page on instagram at shop db Lux hair i will link all of my socials down below so you don't even have to do honey don't even worry about memorizing anything it's down below just click on it and just head on over there um thank you in advance uh thank you thank you thank you so much do you guys like it this is the basic mom unit it's my everyday wig unit it helps me run around mom errands business errands so i just love it and it's convenient anyway today finally i am coming to you guys with a brand called el maquillage i believe el Ma maquillage I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, you know this brand um, on social media, like you always run into their Facebook ads on their on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. It's the ad. It's it's the it's the lady with the brush, the makeup brush, and she's like foundation, and she's like, oh, oh, that blends so, oh, oh, that blends, oh, that blends so well. That commercial, y'all know that commercial. They caught me in 2019 for the first time and basically like every other ad out there the first time you're not that interested but i did pay attention i noticed it i just kept scrolling and then again their targeting was really great because they caught me again retargeted me i kept seeing the ad continuously mind you i saw the ad the first time in 2019 this is 2022 i am stubborn i am so stubborn i finally placed the order last week for their foundation because what they do how they match your skin tone is by answering the 90 second quiz and you answer all the questions and at the end of all those questions they decide based on your answers the perfect foundation color for you it's a very cool concept um I'm very curious to know and see what color they chose for me because my skin is combo and very complicated. So I am so excited to unbox 
this package with you guys let me just show you the package that came in the mail i'm gonna go ahead and just block out my address on here but this is how it came it came in a black black bubble wrap pa um packaging and i'm excited to open it with you guys okay yeah thank you guys so basically Okay, calm down, Ellie. I know you're you're excited. Okay, so this is it. Ew, maquillage. What foundation do you wear, Nelly? El maquillage. <laughs> the name is catchy. I'm not gonna lie. I I like the name. I like the name a lot. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, okay. It's a card with uh, the steps. Moisturize skin before applying foundation. Apply one pump of foundation on the back of your hand using a brush or a sponge. Apply a small amount at the center of your face. Blend outwards. A little goes a long way, so start small. Add more as needed. Um, ensure to apply foundation to the entire face. Blend down to your jaw and your neckline. Wait five minutes for foundation to set before checking the shade. Oh, okay. That's different. Well, that makes sense because of oxidization. They know what they don't matter. Don't match to your neck or your wrist. They're different shade than your face. Facts. Finish your look with the blush and bronzer. Wear for a full week to determine if it's your perfect shade. Okay. For days you want a lighter. So they left a little tip at the bottom of the card. It says, for days you want a lighter coverage, mix your foundation with a bit of moisture. It came really fast. It took about four days to get to me. I was very shocked at the speed of it so I'm trying to unbox this as nicely as possible just in case I do need to send it back okay so oh wow next-gen full coverage foundation okay the boxes, the packaging is cute. They tried. Child, I actually ended up choosing some concealers and they sent that as well. Concealer. And then, and then this is an ink liner, I believe. It says that my camera's not, I have a hard time focusing. Okay, and then, also, it comes with the foundation blending brush. The foundation blending brush comes with it. So it says brush, brush 100, let's see. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Beautiful. So immediately, I love the quality. Um, as far as aesthetic wise and the brush is very dense I love a very dense foundation brush so when I did see this that they were offering it I was very excited to receive it so very nice it's jet black um, with a satin finish let's go ahead and unbox the foundation itself their packaging is very cool very sturdy um, very classy very like glam I love black I love the color black on everything so I'm guessing this is the shade that's in there right because because the name seems transparent and the shade that they sent to me is called after party number 170 can you guys see <laughs> okay so let's try the foundation so we're gonna pump it says to start small right that's what the direction said okay i hope this isn't squared out Ooh. okay um first initial reaction it looks a bit it looks like it'll match but let's see okay so l maquillage foundation i can't believe i'm try i'm finally trying this out after seeing their commercial since 2019. What? So we'll start from here. Okay, there it is. Okay, it's a, it's a bit light for me though. 
bit light. Hmm. Hmm. It's a bit light. It's a bit light, but it's a. I do love the finishing. I can say. I also might not mind it because I do wear a ten. I tend to wear a darker uh, powder over my foundation, so. Um, so to blend outwards. I already went ahead and moisturized my skin prior to this. So, um, it's not bad. Um, I think maybe with a darker powder, it will blend really well. My initial reaction is that it is a bit light. However, I do like the finish. The, hmm, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? And then it's set to bring down the neck. Um, my skin type is combo combination. I'm very um here, but I'm very oily in my T zone. It did say to wait five minutes for the foundation to set in. So let me just go ahead. It looks like it will oxidize into my color. Um, let me go ahead and apply to the rest of my face and see what happens in five minutes okay let's see this is a it's a pump applicator okay what okay it's a bit much there oops love that it has like a golden undertone to it my skin does really well with golden hues. Not bad. Not bad at all. What do you guys think? What? Completed applying the foundation shade in After Party 170 on the right side of my face. And now I want to do the left side of my face. Okay, so first impression immediately I'm like okay this is too light for me but keep in mind it did call for um, it did call for of after five minutes post application so meaning um, this is not the final shade of it and um, as time progresses I feel like I love the way I love the way it looks cover it don't want to apply way too much so calls the formula calls for just a tad it's on my forehead with this back a bit Not bad. What? I kind of like the way it looks. Wow. Wow. So we're gonna let five minutes go by and then. back in and buffer out everything I want to go back in and just buff the foundation back in there I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my forehead actually and I typically have to 
go over my forehead about three times to get a full coverage and most times sometimes I will even double I will use two different foundations to create a full coverage over my forehead while using one foundation on the rest of my face um, but I'm very impressed wow I'm very very impressed it's covering my forehead very well very very impressed Let's go. Wow what do you guys think? Nice to let you look. Not bad. What? I like the coverage. Let's wait five minutes to see if the color settles in and oxidizes to my exact color. Hey guys, so this is five minutes post applying the El Maquillage Foundation in 170 after party. I have to say, what? just wow. I mean, <laughs> I have spots all over my face. And this is just the foundation. Like, I have spots all over my face, but look at my skin. And this is using like a very small quantity of product. I am very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. I paid $5 to receive this package, this entire package, everything I showed you. And literally, I am <laughs> so impressed. I'm keeping it. Two thumbs up, El Maquillage. You guys killed it with this formula. I love it. I love it. I think. I mean, seriously, this color came from a series of how many questions? Like 20 questions. They were able to decide. Oh my goodness, I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's it has a golden hue to it that's quite hard to find, especially for a woman of color. So um, I don't know. Guys, I think I love it. I'm just going to go in and finish up my makeup and I'm going to show you guys the final look with I'm going to use their foundation that they sent me and then my other makeup products and I'll be back. Hi guys. So I am back. Again, I wanted to show you this is, um, I did my makeup off camera. Um, what I did was, you know, I did the, I applied the El Maquillage Foundation in 170 and I actually did not go over it with any powder. So I have no powder on, this is all foundation, just to show you really what it looks like with the foundation and the rest of the makeup. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. Um, also, I did use the con concealer that was sent to me. However, um, I the concealer was nice. It was great. However, I do prefer their foundation. Um, again, I am wearing the Mom Unit DBLuxCollection.com Shop DBLux Hair to purchase this unit. This is the final look with the El Maquillage Foundation. What do you guys think? I like it a lot. The consistency of the foundation is thick, creamy. It's not too thick. It's not too light. It's not too fluidy, which I really love and appreciate. And um, I honestly, I'm going to keep this. Like, I am, like, we are adding her to the collection, honey. She is good. Yeah, I really love the coverage. I would say it's a full coverage because like I mentioned, um, you know, I have spots on my face. However, I believe that the foundation did cover up a lot of my spots as I don't see any more spots on my face. Um, so that's really good. Um, yeah, I am satisfied with the foundation. I will definitely be keeping it. 
And so the way it works is, if I decide that I want to keep the foundation is, I let the company know and they go ahead and they charge my card. So I will be keeping the foundation. Again, I did apply the concealer that came with it under my eyes, um, but I don't think, I did not feel that it provided me the amount of coverage that I like under my eye as I love a very glam look. Um, and so I did go ahead and add my current concealer over it. And again, I do not have on any powder, um, no bronzer, no blush, nothing else on my skin except for the foundation, just to show you guys truly what it does look like. So this is just my everyday look for the days that I want to feel more glam. I would compare it to like the Dior foundation, um, Estee Lauder, and then the drugstore L'Oreal Infallible foundation is what I will compare these two very good in coverage very very good in coverage and I love the texture and the feel of it on my skin so I definitely will be keeping it I'm so excited to wear it um I'll see you guys in my next video thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe and share in the comments what sort of videos you would love to see from me follow me on Instagram mommy Nelly um follow my business page at shop Dbx hair um share this video and I just look forward to creating amazing content for you and just connecting with you. So definitely leave me a comment, let us chat, and um, what else? Mwah. So I just wanna show you guys in different lighting what the foundation looks like. I would say that after the five minutes that was asked of me to leave it on the skin, it definitely oxidized and blended much better with my skin. So this is a natural outdoor light. This is what it looks like. And I would say it blends so good with my skin. My face is naturally darker than the rest of my body. So um, remember when I was applying the foundation, it did appear very light. And I felt like I would need to add a darker powder over it. However, um, I think once it did oxidize, it went ahead and blended really well. So. What?